today we want to be working a little bit on rationals right well rationals as you may know has to do a lot with fractions um, keeping in mind that that fractions you guys are already already know how to add subtract multiply and divide right so we want to be working with a little bit more advanced fractions the first example will be as follows. We have 4 and 1 third minus 1 and 5 sixths all over, right? 1 and 3 sevenths times 1 and 2 thirds. This is what we have, right? If you notice, we have a bracket at the top and then at the bottom, we don't have. So how do we work this out? The first thing that we have to do is let's first change everything to improper fractions, right? Improper fractions, we know that the numerator is going to be bigger than the denominator. <clears throat> so here we go. Changing the first part to imp improper fraction. We're going to have 3 times 4, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So that's going to be 13 over 3 minus 6 times 1 plus 5. 6 times 1 is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11. So we're changing everything to improper fractions we do the same thing for a denominator where we have one times seven plus three and the other one is going to be three times one plus two seven times one is seven seven plus three is ten right and then the other one, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, right? So that is the first thing that we have to do. Let's first, for this one, we change it to improper fraction. And then this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be working with the numerator, get an answer. And then we're going to be working with the denominator and get an answer. Once we get an answer for the numerator, and then an answer for the denominator, we're going to then solve the two fractions, right? So let's proceed with that. The numerator, let's put it as numerator here. 13 over 3 minus 11 over 6. When we are subtracting fractions, we know that we cannot multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator right because that only happens whenever we have multiplication so in this case we're going to be finding the lcm the lcm for three and six is going to be six are you able to find the lcm no let me do it here and decide then whenever you find the lcm you need to write the two terms so we have three and we have six then we use this little ladder method where we're going to be dividing by the the smallest prime so in this case the first prime number that we can reduce is by two two into three cannot go so bring down the three and then two into six that's going to be three and then we have that three and three so we cannot go by 2 again, so we divide by 3, so that's 1 and 1, and then we have it is 2 times 3, we know that our LCM is 6, and that's how we got the 6, right? So find the LCM, we got it 6, then we need to divide 6 divided by the denominator, which is 3, 6 divided by 3, is 2 and then we multiply our answer with the numerator so 6 divided by 3 is 2 
So we're going to see times two. Am I clear? Then we do the same thing for the other one. Six divided by the denominator six. Six divided by six is one. So we multiply the numerator by one. Right? So 13 times two gives me 26. And then 11 times one gives me 11. Clear? Then we have 26 minus 11 gives me 15 over 6. Right? So that is what we have for the numerator. For the denominator now. Let's put that over. And let's put denominator here. And then we're going to solve the denominator now. For the denominator, we can see that we have 10 over 7 times, and then we have three, 5 over 3. So in this case, do we find LCM? No, we do not find LCM. What we need to do is just reduce where we can, and then multiply the numerators, then multiply the denominators. Can we reduce? When we reduce, we can reduce top to bottom, diagonally, right? And that would be it. We cannot reduce denominator with denominator or numerator with numerator, right? So let's check. 10 and 7 cannot, 5 and 3 cannot, diagonally 10 and 3 cannot, and then 5 and 7 are not able to reduce. So what we're going to see is we're going to multiply numerator with numerator. So 10 times 5 gives me 50. And then 7 times 3 gives me 21. All right. So this is what we have now. We have two fractions. So we're going to see equals 15 over 6 divided by the other fraction which is 50 over 21 now how do we work fractions how do we work fractions we know that for fractions we are going to keep the first fraction change the division to multiplication and we're going to flip the second fraction keep change flip Keep, change, flip. So let's do that. 15 over 6. Change to multiplication. And flip the second fraction, which is going to become 21 over 50. Right? So keep 15 over 6. Change, division to multiplication. And flip. The second fraction, 15 over 20, to become 20 over 50. We reduce. Let's go from top to bottom. Can 15 and 6 reduce? Yes, by 3. So 3 into 6, that's 2. And 3 into 15, that's 5. Right? Can we reduce any further? The 5 and the 50, you can see it this way. So that's going to be 5 into 5, 1. And 5 into 50, that is going to be 10. Can we reduce any further? I don't believe so. The 2 and the 10 can reduce, right? But we know that we are not able to reduce denominator with denominator. So we're done with our reducing. So it's going to be 1 times 21, which is 21, and then 2 times 10, which is 20, and then that's going to be 1 and 1 over 20. And there you have it. Your answer is going to be 1 and 120. How do we get this improper? 20 into 21 we know that it can go one time and then you have a remainder of 1 of 20 let's take a look at the second one 
it, it says um, open bracket three and two sevenths plus one and two thirds divided by one and one seventh right so you have it is two three and two sevenths plus one and two thirds divided by one and one seventh so we need to work it out we're going to be working with the brackets and then we're going to be working with this one so let's go with the brackets we put it out this way we're going to do it down there so we first change to improper change to improper seven times three plus two times plus times then plus change it to improper seven times three 21 plus 2 23 plus 3 times 1 3 plus 2 5 find the LCM right because it's addition addition not multiplication or division so because it's addition we find the LCM and the LCM is going to be 21 again how do we get 21 I'll do it right here on the side write the two terms which is 3 and 7 reduced by the lowest prime which in this case is one is 3 then we get 1 and 7 and then reduced by 7 you get 1 and 1 and 7 times 3 is 21 so that is what we have right so continue if we continue we're going to say 21 divided by 7 that's going to be 3 and you're going to multiply it by the numerator 3 right so 21 divided by 3 is 7 so we're going to multiply the numerator by 7 clear so that is what we have so 23 times 3 3 times 2 that's 6 and then 3 times 3 that's 9 so we get 69 plus 7 times 5 is 35. So there we have it. We're going to multiply now. Or add, sorry, not multiply. Add here. 69 plus 35. That gives me... That's going to be 104. Over 21. Let me check that with my calculator. 69 plus 35 that gives me 104 over 21 so are we finished are we complete with our problem no remember that this one has to work out with this one now so let's work that out we have it is 104 over 21 divided by one and one seven but we're going to change it to improper again so we're going to say times plus seven times one is seven plus one is eight eight over seven when we have division of two fractions we said it is keep change flip again keep this fraction change this sign and flip this fraction so we're going to keep 104 over 21. We're going to change division to multiplication. And we're going to flip the second fraction, which is 7 over 8. Right? So what can we do? Can we reduce? Yes, we could reduce. So let's see how we could reduce. Um, let's go 7. 7 into 7, 1. 7 into 21. That's 3. Right? Can we reduce any further? Yes, we can reduce the 8 and the 104. So let's go by 2. 2 into 8. That's 4. And then 2 into 104. That is 52. Can we reduce again? Yes, by 2. 2 into 4, 2. 2 into 52, that's going to be 2 
and 6, 26. So we have 26. Can we reduce further again? Yeah. Yes. So that's going to be 2 into 2, 1, and 2 into 26. That's going to be 13. So my answer is going to be 13 over 3 which I can change to improper and if I change it to improper that's going to be 4 and 1 third thank you for watching